You may have read about black holes in a magazine article or watched an astronomy program on television. Since the general relativity of Albert Einstein predicted these strange things in 1915, they have attracted our attention. What are black holes? Do they really exist? How can we find them? In this video we will examine black holes and answer all of these questions. What is a black hole? A black hole is what remains when a massive star dies. If you have read how stars work, then you know that a star is a huge, amazing fusion reactor. Because stars are so massive and made out of gas, there is an intense gravitational field that is always trying to collapse the star. The fusion reactions happening in the core are like a giant fusion bomb that is trying to explode the star. The balance between the gravitational forces and the explosive forces is what defines the size of the star. As the star dies, the nuclear fusion reactions stop because the fuel for these reactions gets burned up. At the same time, the star's gravity pulls material inward and compresses the core. As the core compresses, it heats up and eventually creates a supernova explosion in which the material and radiation blasts out into space. What remains is the highly compressed, and extremely massive, core. The core's gravity is so strong that even light cannot escape. This object is now a black hole and literally disappears from view. Because the core's gravity is so strong, the core sinks through the fabric of space-time, creating a hole in space-time, this is why the object is called a black hole. The core becomes the central part of the black hole called the singularity. The opening of the hole is called the event horizon. You can think of the event horizon as the mouth of the black hole. Once something passes the event horizon, it is gone for good. Once inside the event horizon, all events, points in space-time, stop, and nothing, even light can escape. The radius of the event horizon is called the Schwarzschild radius, named after astronomer Karl Schwarzschild, whose work led to the theory of black holes. History The concept of an object from which light could not escape, for example, black hole, was originally proposed by Pierre-Simon Laplace in 1795. Using Newton's theory of gravity, Laplace calculated that if an object were compressed into a small enough radius, then the escape velocity of that object would be faster than the speed of light. Types of black holes There are two types of black holes. Schwarzschild, non-rotating black hole. Kerr, rotating black hole. The Schwarzschild black hole is the simplest black hole, in which the core does not rotate. This type of black hole only has a singularity and an event horizon. The Kerr black hole, which is probably the most common form in nature, rotates because the star from which it was formed was rotating. When the rotating star collapses, the core continues to rotate, and this carried over to the black hole, conservation of angular momentum. The Kerr black hole has the following parts. Singularity, the collapsed core. Event horizon, the opening of the hole. Ergosphere, an egg-shaped region of distorted space around the event horizon. The distortion is caused by the spinning of the black hole, which drags the space around it. Static limit, the boundary between the ergosphere and normal space. If an object passes into the ergosphere it can still be ejected from the black hole by gaining energy from the hole's rotation. However, if an object crosses the event horizon, it will be sucked into the black hole and never escape. What happens inside the black hole is unknown, even our current theories of physics do not apply in the vicinity of a singularity. Even though we cannot see a black hole, it does have three properties that can or could be measured. Mass Electric charge Rate of rotation angular momentum as of now we can only measure the mass of the black hole reliably by the movement of other objects around it if a black hole has a companion another star or disk of material it is possible to measure the radius of rotation or speed of orbit of the material around the unseen black hole the mass of the black hole can be calculated using kepler's modified third law of planetary motion or rotational motion although we cannot see black holes we can detect or guess the presence of one by measuring its effects on objects around it the following effects may be used. Mass estimates from objects orbiting a black hole or spiraling into the core. Gravitational lens effects. Emitted radiation. Mass. Many black holes have objects around them, and by looking at the behavior of the objects you can detect the presence of a black hole. You then use measurements of the movement of objects around a suspected black hole to calculate the black hole's mass. What you look for is a star or a disk of gas that is behaving as though there were a large mass nearby. 
For example, if a visible star or disk of gas has a wobbling motion or spinning and there is not a visible reason for this motion and the invisible reason has an effect that appears to be caused by an object with a mass greater than three solar masses, too big to be a neutron star, then it is possible that a black hole is causing the motion. You then estimate the mass of the black hole by looking at the effect it has on the visible object. Gravity Lens Einstein's general theory of relativity predicted that gravity could bend space. This was later confirmed during a solar eclipse when a star's position was measured before, during and after the eclipse. The star's position shifted because the light from the star was bent by the sun's gravity. Therefore, an object with immense gravity, like a galaxy or black hole, between the Earth and a distant object could bend the light from the distant object into a focus, much like a lens. Emitted Radiation When material falls into a black hole from a companion star, it gets heated to millions of degrees Kelvin and accelerated. The superheated materials emit X-rays, which can be detected by X-ray telescopes such as the orbiting Chandra X-ray Observatory. In addition to X-rays, black holes can also eject materials at high speeds to form jets. Many galaxies have been observed with such jets. Currently, it is thought that these galaxies have supermassive black holes, billions of solar masses, at their centers that produce the jets as well as strong radio emissions. One such example is the galaxy M87. It is important to remember that black holes are not cosmic vacuum cleaners, they will not consume everything. So although we cannot see black holes, there is indirect evidence that they exist. They have been associated with time travel and wormholes and remain fascinating objects in the universe. Quick Summary What are black holes made of? A black hole is what remains when a massive star dies and its matter is squished together into an incredibly tiny space. How many black holes are there? Scientists estimate that in the Milky Way alone, there's anywhere from 10 million to a billion black holes. What is the most common type of black hole? The Kerr black hole is probably the most common form in nature. Where do black holes lead to? If an object crosses the event horizon, it will be sucked into the black hole and never escape. What happens inside the black hole is unknown, even our current theories of physics do not apply in the vicinity of a singularity. What are the two types of black holes? The two types of black holes are a Schwarzschild, a non-rotating black hole, and a Kerr, a rotating black hole. Want to learn more about more bizarre but fascinating space objects? Or do you want to regularly receive updates whenever we post enlightening information like this? You'd be wise to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications, if you want to always receive the most up-to-date information on space and extraterrestrial life. If you have any comments or recommendations for this video, please post them below. Thanks.